Welcome to part two of my giant bins thrift haul where I spent six and a half hours at the bins. I got over 120 pounds. If you haven't caught my other videos, I'll be sure to link them up here. But yeah, I'm excited to get these videos filmed. That way I can start processing all of this craziness. There's so much. I'm so overwhelmed. And we all know when I'm overwhelmed, I hide. So without further ado, let's cue the intro so we can jump in to the rest of the haul. What's up? My name's Hope. I'm a full-time nurse, a part-time reseller. I save lies. I save clothes. I save all the things. Thumbs up for that. And yes, I know, some say I save too many things. My husband. <laughs> but what do you do? I mean, how do you say no? How do you say no? I saved all of this stuff from the landfill. I wish you guys could see this mound of clothes I'm looking at from the haul I just filmed, but you can't because it's like in front of me on my desk. So now we've got one, two giant Ikea bags and one white bag on the floor. Let's just do it. You ready? Here we go. I probably showed you all the good stuff in the first video. Louis Vuitton, Balmain, <laughs> Valentino. Did I do that? I did. Um, so sorry if this is all just junk. I have no idea what's in these bags. I don't say no to basically anything at the bin. This is just a Janssen, I don't know. It's a Squirt swimsuit bottom, size 12, I think. Yep, size 12, woman's, you know, lots of ladies looking for good sort of bottoms. So pick that up. Oh my gosh, you guys. I guess I didn't save all the good, put all the good stuff in the first one because I forgot all about these. Look at these vintage. Jimboree. Oh my gosh. How can you see that tag? Focus. Vintage Jimboree jean jogger overalls. How? I mean, can you? There's a giant hair. It's probably my own. I mean, you can't even believe how cute those are. Oh, isn't that precious? They're a newborn, 100% cotton. Oh. They're so vintage and so adorable. I absolutely could not leave them behind. And yes, if you're wondering, my hair is curly. That's how it naturally came to me. <laughs> when I was born, I have naturally curly hair. You never see it like this in any of my videos because I'm too lazy to wash it and dry it so that it's not frizzy. So yes, it's curly gonna be curly in all the videos you see coming up because I actually washed it and diffused it. I never do that. It takes too long. So if you never see it again, <laughs> yeah. Okay, J. Crew Flex Oxford Slim Size Medium. It's a new brand new tag, J. Crew. It's yellow and blue plaid. It's a brand new J. Crew plaid Oxford. Of course you don't say no. How often do you sell men's things, Hope? Not very often. This is Sublime. See that? It's like someone slit the neck. So it's it's a DIY Sublime. Just a graphic tee. Sublime. Uh, Long Beach, California. Oh, I didn't tell you the size. I'm losing it. This is the third video I filmed in a row. Oh, I didn't tell you the size because I, there isn't one. Okay. This is just a... Athletic. It's from Walmart, I'm pretty sure. Racerback tank. It's moisture wicking. I I got this for me. Moisture wicking. Sleeveless. At some point, I, I plan on doing more walking, and the weather's getting nice. And I've been outside a lot. We're putting in new decking. Get, we got a hot tub. None of it's together yet, but it will be. So I got that for myself. It's just a Walmart brand. Uh, Old Navy Everyday Short Mid-Rise. These are size 10. Just the everyday short, longer length, you know, not too showy. Just a khaki chino short. 
What's this? Oh, this is J. Jill. If you guys watched the previous one, then you know I found like an entire bin. <laughs> I felt like it was an entire bin. Just folded up J. Jill. All J. Jill. This is an easy A-line tank, size large, so this is like super soft, really good condition. It's cream, so great for layering. It's just a basic, um, like a lot of J. Jill's pieces, but I will probably lot it with some of the other J. Jill pieces when I list it. Oh, this is vintage too. I forgot. So, Spencer's is from Spencer's. I've never, I don't know that store. Uh, infant polo shirt, 12 months. Oh, oh, it's from New York, 1991. That's the little tag. It's like, and then it has the, also the um, call, collegiate tag on it. It's a new tag, little gators. I'm a little gator. Size 12 months, vintage dead stock. So cute. This is a J. Crew skirt. J. Crew size 2, navy blue. You know, just one of those high-waisted cotton skirts. Never say no to J. Crew at the bins. Oh, this is new with tag, size extra large, Hogwarts. This is a Harry Potter extra large T. Oh, I might have to keep it. <laughs> I don't know. It's new with tag, so I probably will sell it. Um, this is Johnny Cash. Um, I walk the line. I walk the line. I don't know a, I don't know a lot of Johnny Cash. But it's a really cute black graphic tee, cash, size large. This was a find. Look at this beauty. Victoria's Secret with the pink heart, size large, made in Sri Lanka. I don't know if this is a vintage or, or not. You guys help me out. So it's Victoria's Secret and it's got the little pink heart beside it. But it's stunning no matter what. Size large. Green lace at the top. Long nightgown with a super high slit. Stunning. I mean Santa baby slip a sable under the tree. You know? Like wear that. <laughs> wear that for Santa. I'm talking Um, this is Skies Are Blue, size large. It's just this like boho fringe eye cat print. See the fringe at the bottom? A little open, light knit, like elbow length sleeve cardigan. Open cardigan. It's cute. I think Skies Are Blue is Stitch Fix, if I'm not mistaken. This is American Eagle. It's a Christmas sweater, but it's so cute. And it has like a tag in it, so I'm pretty sure that it's new. Like new without tags, like it has the hang tag. And you can, I don't think it's ever been worn or definitely never been washed. But that is a polar bear with this, with the red hat on and he's all sparkly and beaded and sequined. Oh, it's American Eagle extra small and it says, hello, good looking. Such a cute little holiday sweatshirt from American Eagle. It's only been 10 minutes. I'm flying through this, you guys. This is Avon Bib, size 3X. New with tag. That's a Target brand. It's just floral. Really cute floral. Popover blouse. 3X, a good size. Um, I just sold a Ava and Viv. Two things Ava and Viv, one thing Torrid. So it was a three-piece plus size bundle. I wish I would have had this because everything she got was a 3X. And I sold that bundle for 40 or 45. So that is why I always pick up, especially new with tags, Target stuff like that at the bin. This is Eddie Bauer, size 2XL. It's vintage violet. I think this is, um, what's this called? I think it was, I don't know. It's like the everyday something, but it's a 2X. I think this is a woman's because it's purple. But it's like a base layer, really cozy and soft. I don't know, it's brand new with tags and size 2X, so I picked it up. These are Nike shorts. They are a 2X. Yeah, 2X 
They're like a green. You got the Nike all around the band, and they have the tie, the elastic tie. And they say Nike down here, or they have the Nike swoosh down here. They're a 2X, they have pockets. I feel they're moisture wicking, I can tell by feeling them. This is Ron John Surf Shop. These are a size 3X, that's a great size. Um, board short. Ron John's, I, those are all over the place. Uh, but I'm familiar because when we been to Florida, my dad always wants to go to Ron John's. <laughs> He's wild. This is a size large Gildan Majestic 2016 Champions Cubs, World Series Champions. This shirt was bought and then they never wore it. So they probably bought it as a souvenir because it is like crispy. Like it's never been washed or worn. So do I'm sure it's collector's item. When was 2016? Five years ago? What year is this? Regardless, it's never been worn. It's like new without tag. And it's basically the only time the Cubs have ever won. <laughs> ever won. So my, my husband's from Chicago, so he's like, they haven't won a championship. And I can't remember how many years it was. It was a long time. Anyways, this I could not believe was there. Do you remember Buster Brown? I remember Buster Brown when I was a kid. This is an 18 months, made in the USA. It's a one piece, Buster Brown. I mean, look at it. It's got the eyelets all around the neckline, the little rosettes. It's a one piece. Oh my gosh, look at it. There's only one little faint stain right here. And he's got these bows. This is a little vintage one piece. So cute. So this is new tag, Eddie Bauer, Eddie Bauer, $90 tag on this. Um, it's called One Button Sleep Cardigan in Heather Gray. My gosh, certainly you wouldn't sleep in a $90 cardigan. Anyways, it's Eddie Bauer Lounge, size extra large. It's a one button. It is fabulous. So it's an XL. It's got a one button. And then open just the coziest it's gray marled ribbed sleeves super cozy but yet still lightweight i guess you could you definitely could lounge like this is definitely a covid be at home type of piece um i wouldn't sleep in it though oh these are plus size bikini bottoms swim by cacique cacique Bin pickers always get this, and if I find it, I usually give it to them, but they didn't come that day. It's okay, Michelle, I love you anyways. Um, this is size 28, so this is a fabulous size. High-waisted. Let me flip that out there. Yeah. High-waist. I think that's high-waist. I'm not really sure, actually. High-waist um, bikini bottom. Black. This is new with tags. It's Hot Topic. That's just the brand. It just says Hot Topic. Size medium. It was on clearance for $27. I don't know what the original price was, but Hot Topic. It's this little black wrap. It's oh, it's a wrap front ruffle cardigan. Cute. It's cute. Okay, what else? Then I found this. This is one of those things. It's called a camelback. I almost said something different. <laughs> Not that camel. Uh, camelback, and you put, um, what's the word GU says in his videos? You put a something in it. A, not a nipple. What is it? What do you put in here? A pouch. Oh my god, they're called something. A bladder. I should know. I'm a nurse. A bladder. Nipple. Jeez. <laughs> you put a, a bladder in here, and it holds your water. Okay, so this is just the, the backpack for it, but it's a backpack for you to wear, and yeah, Camelback. It's in great condition, like brand new. I don't know how much those sell for, but I've seen Michelle and G pick them up before, and I was doing everything in loving memory of them that day, because they weren't with me. Okay. This is a scarf. Oh my gosh, I'm delirious. Hold on, let me tell you what brand first. Well, there is no brand. Probably Target would be my guess. 
Oh, it's Kohl's. So this is a buffalo check with a C. It's a Christmas scarf. <laughs> it's a Christmas stocking. Brand new. Has the tags on it. Um, I'm really into buffalo check and my last name starts with a C. So... <laughs> that might stay here with me. Oh, and then I got this tote. I'll just, um, it's Echo, Eco. I don't know, that's probably means it's recycled or something. But it just says, you are awesome. It's like a little, uh, that's the brand, Eco. It's like a little recyclable grocery tote. I bought this because it weighs nothing. It probably cost me 20 cents. And I will put someone's order in a bag. Sometimes when people bundle, I just always throw in a free gift. So I'll wrap everything in like a bag like that. Um, this is a fossil purse. It's so cute and in such good condition. The girl at the garage sale had a $10. She marked $10 on it with, a, with one of her garage sale stickers. Um, it didn't sell. And then she donated it. And it is fantastic. It is this leather. Yeah, it's leather for sure. Leather fossil little duffel. It's glittery and so cute with these brown handles. Crossbody, you can wear either way. Still has the key. Like this thing is in great shape. This was mixed in with the clothes. Uh, yep, has all, everything looks good in here. There is some ink stains, but it's not that bad. It's got lots of pockets. I also found these at the bin. And they're just little sacks. Oh, this isn't sounding well. Good. So there are these little Ziploc baggies. Um, you could put a lot of different things in here, um, but my plan was to put like rings or earrings in them when I ship them. That was my plan. But they were at the bins and there's like a, you know, this is a whole big huge thing of them. So I got those for myself. Okay, so these are so cute. I don't remember the brand, but I know that they're plus size. These are Lane Bryant, size 1820. I hit the plus size jackpot this trip. These are size 1820, Lane Bryant. These are so cute. These like green, they almost feel like sh like a, that chambray material. I bet you they're Lyocell. I bet you anything. But they're joggers. And they zip up there. They're kind of like, you know, got that army fatigue vibe camo. They're not camo, but they have that, you know, what is the word I'm looking for? It's lost. I can't find it. Um, like cargo. Good grief. Cargo pant. Yep, they're 100% Lyocell. I knew it, by the way. They feel so lovely. So these are like super comfortable joggers. Lane Bryant 1820. I will, they'll sell for $25. The fabric is really good. They're super trendy and cute joggers, and they're comfortable, and they're plus size. Win, win, win. This is loft, size large. Might have got this for myself. I don't know what it is about black and white stripes, but, I mean, have you seen my room down here? <laughs> I'm obsessed. And then, if it's like a popover top like this, that's like so effortless, and you could be hiding, you know, some of your leftover rolls that you have on your stomach underneath, then, you know, I'm all about that. And this ties up here and it's got a ruffle neck. I, my guess is, is I will probably keep this. It's really like lightweight. I would be cute with black shorts and sandals in the summer. Uh, pink, Victoria's Secret. This is cute. Leopard print. It's a large. Oh gosh. Really cute. I keep looking up to check my battery. Uh, it's just a leopard pocket tank from Victoria's Secret Pink. Okay, what is this? This is a little cute fisherman hat. This is Gap, size medium large. It, this is like a, definitely like a kid's fisherman hat and it's like waterproof. It's like nylon and it has like the little rope around there with the little hooks. How adorable is this? Gosh, so cute. It's new without tags. It still has that little tag there. Medium large kids. Oh god, everything's falling. This, what are you? 
It's a necklace or, or something. It's I think it's Talbot's. Nope, Chico's. Close enough. So just a little necklace. This is definitely probably not the way it goes, but just one of these statement necklaces with all these dangly charms. Red. Oh, it's got seashells and wood beads and red things and it's cute. I love necklaces and earrings. They're such easy listings. <laughs> Belts. I love a good easy listing. Hats. This is Juicy Couture, but I think this is Juicy Kids, I think it said. Kids. This is this season. This is like an Angora furry, like super soft. Like, what is this? One size fits all, faux fur. Well, wow. it's polyester, but it's Juicy Couture Kids. So it's a. It's this really cute infinity scarf with the giant Juicy Couture um, heart on it. Oh gosh, is that the last thing? Oh my god, we're one bag down. It's 23 minutes. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Old Navy size medium. I got it based on style. I mean, not that Old Navy is like a terrible brand or anything but every time I have these boho Aztec type of um can you guys tell how tall the pile clothes pile is getting anytime I have anything like that it always sells so I'll get 18 to 25 for that I'm sure all right so this is 24 minutes I'm thinking I should probably stop it Are you tired? I'm tired. Should we keep going? We probably should. All right, I'm gonna go really fast. I'm not gonna like go crazy showing tags. I've gotta take a drink though. I've gotta get through this. I've got to get through it. This is Caslon. I don't know what size this is, but it's like a sh chambray striped pocket dress. You can tie the waist. I think Castellan is Nordstrom. I just liked the fact that it was like chambray and cute. Okay. This is, what is this? County seat, size medium. This is like vintage. This reminds me of kind of, of Clueless. Um, but I washed this with blue jeans. <laughs> so it's ruined. You see it? Yeah, this was supposed to be white up here, and it's like a baby blue now. But it was going to be a sweater tank, little shell crop, and I ruined it by washing it with things that I shouldn't have washed it with. These. I found these Kooji, authentic Kooji jeans. There's Kooji. All these logo patches. These are super nice. Like they, they're in such good shape. Men's jeans. They ruined my shirt. These are a 32, 34. They ruined that shirt that I was really. I wore a shirt like this in one, in one of my school photos, like fifth, fifth or sixth grade. This makes me sad. It was like nostalgic to me. I ruined it. Anyways, those Kooji jeans, they're really nice, really good condition. I wish it was a Kooji sweater, but it wasn't, so. This is Torrid, size 5. This is amazing. I told you. Oh, I, yeah, I did. This is the same video. Now I forget what video I'm on. Torrid, size 5. It's like a floral embroidery sweatshirt. It's like not too heavy. You can wear that any, any season. These are new tag, size 36, classic fit. They're just Arizona. I mean, but they're like a chambray men's short. What size are these? 36. These, my dad might want these. Those might be too short for him. He likes things long. Um, they're new, so how do you like? I don't know. I just couldn't leave them in there, and they didn't. I, I paid 50 cents, even if they. I only sell them for 10 bucks. Who cares, right? These are the North Face. Nylon. 
gray. I don't know if these are women. Let me hold on. Let me try to find the size. Oh, they're a 10. Women's. Women's 10 long. They're a long nylon short. And they have roll tabs so you can make them longer. And they're waterproof. Yeah, North Face. So those will, those will do okay. This is a J. Crew collector tee, size large. Um, this has all the different kinds of wine. You see it? It says Shiraz, Merlot, Cabernet, Savion, Malbec, and Pinot Noir. I'm sure I just butchered half of those, but I'm not a Reds girl. Well, I like some red. Basically just one. <laughs> but still, this is Silence and Noise. Extra small. This is super cute. This is like a midi skirt. See that? Like you wear it high-waisted. It comes, you know, midi length and it has these high slits. Well, not that high, but slits on both sides. Super cute with like a crop top. Silence and Noise is Urban Outfitters. So, that would look cute with like Doc Martens and like a crop top. Cute. This is called Rag Poets. Have you ever heard of that? Oh gosh. That's what the tag looks like. I got it because look at these sleeves. Like this is crazy. So it's like a knit, open knit sweater. But the sleeves, look how giant. Have you ever seen a sleeve this wide? So the sleeve like hangs way down. I don't know. It's really cute though. Someone out there will love it. These are Levi's. Levi 512s, size 12. Oh, these are high waist. High rise, size 12. Look at those little cute cut off shorts. I need to get these listed tonight. So that's easy $25. Oh, I'm running out of steam, you guys, and battery. Made well, size small. It's a striped little rugby tee with ribbed cut with a cuff on it. Cute. If I run out of battery, you guys, that'll be the end. And <laughs> these are universal thread, size medium, just little cute cargo shorts, comfortable. This is vintage, I think. So cute. Yeah. Global Identity Leather. Global Identity Leather. Made in Mongolia. It's made in Mongolia! Size 910. This is like genuine, 100% genuine leather. Look at this skirt. How freaking cute is that? See it? Leather skirt slits up the front. Genuine leather. This is a puffer. This is for my kid. Eddie Bauer. It's a woman's extra small, but I'm giving it to my daughter, Braylon. It's just a down puffer. There's a little tear above the pocket. So I'll let her destroy it the rest of the way. <laughs> this is new with tag Harley Davidson. Women's. I find so much Harley stuff, it's unreal. It's probably because there's one like right up the road. But it's new with tag, size medium. Just a raglan tee, big Harley logo. It's new with tags. You don't say no to that. My, I'm sorry, guys. My nose itches so bad from the insane amount of dust I have been kicking up. This is Toby. It's a size medium. It's a romper. Isn't it? Is it a romper or just a shirt? Oh my gosh, it's literally just a shirt. I thought it was a one-piece romper. Nope, it's just a shirt. It's a Toby blouse, size medium. Oh my gosh. These are some Nike shorts. And they're running shorts, they're lined. Oh my gosh, I don't know what size they are because joy fit size medium. These are so fun. These are called Taxi or Jaxi? Jaxley? Good God, I don't know. 
sacks. <laughs> I literally can't read this. But whatever that says, I don't know. They're probably like a boutique brand, but they're tie-dye, wide leg. Look how wide the leg is. Hippy dippy pants. How fun are these? I could not leave those there. These are so cute, little pull-on hippy dippies. I love those so much. Love them. I don't know the brand, so sorry. This is Kind People Are My Kind of People Suburban Riot. Extra small. New a tag. Love that message. All the thumb people who thumbs down should take note. Kind people are my kind of people. This is Stefano Basics. Uh, 2224 dead stock. This is vintage from Fashion Bug, but way old. Look at this graphic sweater with the bears and all the bejewels. And it's new in tag and plus size. Oh, yes. Someone for Christmas will want that. Yes, they will. They will want it for their ugly Christmas sweater party or just because they like it. This is just a Disney. Oh, it's Santa Mickey. So he's got a Santa hat on. So another Christmas shirt. I have a whole bin dedicated to Christmas. This is a Victoria's Secret 34 Triple D Dream Angels Line Demi Brawl. It's all, I have it all messed up, but see it. It's got really pretty lace. And it, and it closes in the front like that. This is so cute. My hair is stuck to the seat. I think this is like J. Crew or somebody. It's this really cute scarf. I can't seem to find the tag. I know I found it in the store. Or while I was there, because I was like, oh yeah, okay. So, it's just a giant cozy scarf. It definitely has wool in there. Oh, here's what it is. Oh, it's Steve Madden. Not J. Crew. Steve Madden. Scarf. Cute. Dear God. This is so much stuff. My, it's gonna die. Okay. This is Crew Cuts. So it's J. Crew, size 4 5. It's a little girl, little quilted jacket. So adorable. I'm going to have nowhere to put any of this, you guys. Just keeps stacking up. This says. Torrid Super Soft, size 2. I think it's a size 2 from Torrid. It's an ombre tunic top. It says. Dream Chaser. I found a couple pairs of True Religion jeans. I've never found True Religion, so I don't really know if it's good or not, but I hear people talk about it. I think, it, maybe, is it making a comeback? These are 31s. And these have the flat pockets. Oh, she died. The camera's dead. Okay. I don't know where my stupid camera cut me off at, but took a break, ate some food, and now I'm back to finish this. So, I think I showed you the size 31 True Religion. Yeah. So, 31, I think they're like a boot cut. How do you even know what style these are? Does it tell you anywhere inside here? I don't know. But anyways, True Religion, flat pockets, size 31. They look like a boot cut to me. And they're dark wash. So I'll try them. I'll try any jeans. I'm not picky. This is True Religion, size 26. And these look like a low rise. Distressed, maybe boot cut, but probably straight. And those are a light wash. Okay. This is a Free People. Free People, extra small. little dress. I think it's like a mini dress or like a tank. It's got pockets. If it's a dress, it's a really short one. Let's see, it's lined. 
yeah, it's probably a like a long tunic or a super mini dress. It's extra small. This is Athleta, size large. Pick this up probably for myself. It's the gray striped tank with like mesh cutouts. And it has a pocket in the back, a kangaroo pocket. Not a kangaroo pocket, but a zipper pocket. And this, what is this? Postmark, anthropology, extra small. Just this little lavender eyelet tank. Nothing fancy, but you know. This is cheekly. Chickly? I don't know. I just thought it was a cute little thrashed jean vest. I picked this up actually for my for my kid. <laughs> Everything just gets thrown into here. This is a Michael Kors scarf. It's got MK, MK, MK all over it. It's gray. What are you? These are the slow, the so slimming jegging by Chico's size zero. They look like Spanx. I wonder what size a size zero is in Chico's. Is it really a size zero, or is it that weird sizing where this might fit me? I don't know. But they're dark wash jeggings. Can't go wrong there. What is this little baby piece? Oh wow, this is kimchi blue. So urban outfitters oh my gosh so it's like a little bralette it has all these hook and loop closures that are all undone because i washed this so let me just button some of them so i can show you what it looks like it's just a little bralette bralette oh dear lord oh good grief Okay, it's a, it's a tangled web we weave, but just a little floral, and it, the back is open. It's all tangled up. <sighs> but yeah, there's a little tiny crop, crop bralette. These are Free People Movement, size large, little space die, yoga legging with mesh at the bottom. I've never found free people movement, and I'm really excited that it's in large. Oh, this is exciting. I've never found All Saints either, if you can believe it. So this is All Saints. Now, this dress had a million stains. So these are the straps, you just tie them. It had so many stains. I soaked this twice in um, OxyClean and then once I just like ran bleach through the water and that did the trick. I washed this three times. I hope it was worth the effort. It's probably not. Anyways, it's a um, size US 4. It's a little smocked top. You tie, the, you tie the straps up and then it's got all this embroidery eyelet detail. A little white summer dress. So I was excited to find that brand. I don't think it like, sells for a ton of money, but I'm just excited to add it to my closet. So this is called Latched Mama. I'm assuming this is a maternity sweater. Um, it's like, got like a gold shimmer to it. It's a 3X, so great size. And you do like this, see? And your boob comes out. So you can breastfeed. So it's a maternity 3X, which is wonderful. Oh gosh, what is this? Everything is a mess, you guys. That's what happens, Hope, when you leave it in a bag for all these days. Okay, so this, I have to figure it out. I thought, oh, I remember. This was new with Tag, and that was the only reason I grabbed it. And then as I was throwing it in the car, I ripped the tag off. So, I think it's like, yeah, Croft and Borrow 2X. 
It's like a tank and then it has the sheer chiffon floral thing. So it's like a two piece. You wear the tank top underneath it because it's see through. It was going to be a new tag 2X blouse, but now it's not new tag. So what do you do? Okay, I found this robe. It has the thing. It says Laura, Laura D, New York. So it's a vintage robe. It needs washed. But how do you, I don't know, it's velvet. It's a purple velvet robe. <laughs> it's very funny. It's all the way to the ground. It has these little cuffs and this crazy vintage looking hmm, but it ties and then it has the belt I don't know why I picked it up honestly I don't I just seen it was like oh this is vintage and now I'm thinking how am I gonna wash that it needs washed it has yellowing around the you know this is Vanity Fair size large it's a black I think it's inside out. It's a black 90. It's inside out, but it's vintage Vanity Fair. A black little, either a slip or a 90, one of the two. This is a cute little fox Torrid size 4. This is so cute. It's a fox, like see through, really light knit um, sweater with the little foxes all over it. This, what is this? Oh, this is somebody's DIY, but I thought some little college girl will think this is cute. Butler, that's one of our colleges here. Tie-dyed, and then it's been cropped. Really short crop. So, but, cute nonetheless. What is this? This is a K J Crew. It's just a white shell tank great basic I think it's linen usually I wouldn't pick up anything white nope I'm wrong it's 100% cotton usually it's got to be special if I'm gonna pick it up and, and it's all white okay this is Victoria's Secret 36 C it's this little nighty sheer with this Lace and sequin butterflies all down it. See them? It's really pretty. And then this is Million Front Slit Crop Pants. $125. Clavelli? Clavelli? Oh boy. Okay. Clavelli? Clavelli? I don't know, guys. Do you know this? It looks expensive. Um, it's these weird pants. They have this like ruffle up the top. I feel like are these? They might be a vintage. Made in USA, size ten. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look them up. They smell, but they're new. A tag. They're like a stretchy, pull on pant. Really high waisted, like super high waisted. Um, I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm not gonna wash them. They smell bad though. Like they smell like old. So they need some of that special spray that Tata talks about all the time. Tata is Lori Tata, in case you were wondering. It's called Zero Odor. Takes out most of the smells. Okay, so that is it for the bins. The rest of the bins. That's the end of the 120 something pounds from the bins. Um, but I don't want to film another video for these short, the small little amount of items here. So before I we went to the bins, I had popped into a Goodwill. I spent like 40 something bucks, got a few things, just a real quick trip while my daughter was at soccer. So I grabbed this J. Crew. It's black. Is that a rip? No. Bl black tank. I got it because, hello, look at this fun fabulousness down here. This little fringe. So adorable. It's a size small. It's the black label J. Crew so soft and then that fringe is so cute then i got these fun little things my husband looked at me really funny and i was like don't get any ideas 
uh, Superwoman. And these are Justice League. That's the brand. So they're little corsets. And I say they because I have two. So they're like little corsets. And here is Wonder Woman. They're both size small, I believe. Well, this one doesn't have a size, so we're going to ride this one's coattails. This one is a small. Yep, so they're both size small. Little bustier corsets. I'm going to lot them together and sell them like that. And then I got this Star Wars little crop top. So cute. When If things are 99 cents and they're cute like that, like with the graphic novelties, I'll definitely buy them. Uh, this is a leopard print vest. You know me in leopard print. So it's like a long line vest and it slits up the sides just like an open front sweater vest but then it's reversible so you can wear it and it's super soft and cozy it has I can't find the brand because it's reversible so I'm still working on it but it you can wear it like that the stripes so how cute is that really cute then what are you Broadway and broom I don't know that I don't know why I must have picked this up so it was half half tag and I was looking for summer stuff so this is just a like light gray floral tank size large oh it's a hundred percent silk this is Eddie Bauer this is so cute well it's just plain black but it's super soft it's called Eddie Bauer woman's XL it's this super lightweight black cardigan open front does it have pockets no open front uh, waterfall super lovely feeling cotton very great transitional piece so and it's an XL so I was really thinking about myself when I got that like you know just having something that's like lightweight to throw on over tank tops when it's like not this is uh, when it's not you know freezing but not cold intro size small this brand is everywhere it's a boutique brand but how cute is this plaid poncho vest waterfall not the right season but it's perfect for fall I love pieces like this they always do really well for me in that 25 35 dollar range I can't even count how many of them I sold <laughs> this past season a lot and last but not least was this really fun cool vintage lion head purse isn't that fun and unique? Yeah. So definitely vintage. It's got little diamond eyes. It's got some scuffs on it, but I was super excited to find it. That is it. I have a smile on my face because that is the end of filming three videos and getting through all of those clothes. And now I could finally start working on them. So yay! So that is it for the very last bit of the 120 pounds I got from the Goodwill Outlet along with a few extras. Oh, I'm exhausted. My next video will be the remaining 50 pounds of my thread up box. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.